all right guys welcome back it's been a while since i posted a video but me and my hi the little man are are headed south we're uh can't tell them what we're doing yet all right don't be surprised for them okay we'll surprise you all right we've got about a four and a half hour ride in one quarter of and, a mile uh, turn left when we get there we will uh, catch back up. So, uh, turn left to Route 98. Stick around. Let's see how this road trip goes. All right, we made it to. I just can't see anything. We made it to our hotel. We're Hi. in Dover, Ohio. Dover. Dover. We're gonna get some shut eye and uh, catch back up with you guys in the morning. All right. We're rested up. Can you guess where we are? <laughs> we you? are in. Dover, Ohio. Oh, we said it last night, didn't we? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Dover, Ohio. We got an eight o'clock appointment here this morning. It's uh, twenty minutes of. We're gonna grab a quick snack and um, get to our destination, huh? Yes. How was your hotel bed last night? Good. Comfier than my own. Comfier in your bed at home. Yeah. All right, we made her. New way egg. I don't know if you guys remember my video from uh, a few months ago, but we uh, pulled the trigger on some drones, huh, Carm? Yeah. Well, we're gonna go inside here and uh, get trained up on how to use these things, and uh, hopefully. Uh, make a nice little uh, deal out of this thing. So we'll uh, see what happens when we get inside here. All right, we're back at the spring. Up top right now is a trailer. Trailer everywhere. I'm gonna go down, look at the trains and the, yeah. Those are some drones we got. Just east of the solar panels there, with the Virgin uh, Fire and Town line. That uh, Hans piece is going up here. Right behind uh, Donnie's house. Yes. So, yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, if it gets Warp. in the way, it, yeah. okay, let's put it this way. If you're not using it, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. It, yeah. It is yeah. really tripping on it and not using it. Yeah. Or using it. Yeah. yeah. And so, this guy here is going to be simple enough to operate. I'm sure you know your Yep. I wouldn't have hit off, it would have cranked 
without me touching it three Total. more, two more times. So it does okay. total of three times it'll crank to start it. Yeah. I have no idea if there's even gas. Yeah. But it looks flat down to me. Yeah. Um, so um, according to that, or it would have probably started. Yeah. Like it normally it starts very yeah. slow. Like it's, I, the only time I've ever had it not start the first time was this spring after it was sitting there for a whole winter. Sure. And, um, I had to press it twice, On, and yeah. the reason, the next two times, it doesn't run. So, Mike was telling me, if you would have just pressed it in right away after the first time, then it would probably start it right away. Uh, so, because, he's like, yeah. prime them twice, and then they'll start typically right away. They, they are impressive, actually. Yeah. Well, they, they work. So, I've had one issue with mine, uh, with an idle problem. Yeah. Down there, so that yeah. Way, that way I and that was fine. Yeah. So, um, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, your this is another thing that gives me trailer and the your yeah. Power. <laughs> I draw <laughs> jack. Yeah. So battery stuff is in here for that. Mm -hmm. For your hose yep. reel back there. Um, oil. Wow. Change yeah. uh, stuff for nice. the generator. So. Uh, work nice so um, pump information for your okay. yep. pump um, I think that's yeah, a for your hose reel stuff um, and then over here there is a key where you can yep. you know lock it or whatever you think it's on those things are nice uh, <laughs> what you Crank, 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 crank. Yeah. That's freaking annoying. Uh, it's mostly annoying since you know. Yeah. What, yeah. Uh, so your your <coughs> so this little guy just kicks in. Uh, we'll get back in a little bit. Just start flying. Yep. Uh, so. so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sucks a little air and then it will just keep yeah. pumping. Uh, so I've had it where I've stopped and like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, this pump here, um, obviously, put them and then sucks in up yep. over there. Um, is anything that settles, I wouldn't be leaving set in there. So I need to look into put a valve right down. Yeah. You can at least close that. Yeah. So, but I would mean that they have this 98 feet return to home calculates that 98 feet from where you took the drone off, not from where it's at. It knows it's only 10 feet above ground. Let me, let me explain. So I, I use my scribbles. We got, we got the marble board out. Not. People do not erase this very often because I think I might have read this or saw it somewhere. Okay, so that. if you're starting off here, yep, and this is a hill, yep. okay, your field is up here. So the field's 200 feet above you. You fly it up here. First off, if you try to send it in at, on its own, it's going to go up to 98 feet. Flying against the hill it won't be able to do it. So you have to push it on up. Tell it to start and then it'll drop down, do its thing, and it knows how high above the ground it is. That's why it's so dumb. Yeah. Um, because when it goes to return to home, it's spraying at 12 feet, it's gonna stop and cut. Always just leave it turned We're back. Good. Flight protection. We're back. This is something to where yours is probably your max flight distance is probably set at 3,000. On your new ones, I think default is like 3,000 some feet. That means you can't fly further away than that. That's not fun when that happens and you don't know why, why it's not letting you go. Um, so adjust your max flight distance. Your max flight altitude, you can only make it go up to 328 feet. I would definitely turn that all the way up to 328 feet. Um, the rest of these things are turned on. The only thing that is turned off is allow attitude mode. 
Leave it off for your safety, unless you really want to have some fun. <laughs> so, what it is, if you turn this on, uh, this allow attitude mode, this yep. switch up here, if you put it in sport mode, right now it doesn't do anything because it's that's turned off. So, but if you put it in S mode, and this is allowed, the thing goes bananas. You can go insane with that <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's fun. He tried yeah. sometimes <laughs> down the road a little bit. <laughs> I've used it where I've had a field that's like a quarter mile away, and I'm like, it takes forever to fly there. I put it yeah. in sport mode and just look at that. There's no obstacle avoidance. So just put a piece like of tape over that. Um, but it's, no, that's <laughs> why they, you there. keep that switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's, that's the key. But uh, if you do turn it on, it, it is hilarious how, how what they do. Uh, they they're fast. Like yeah. they can they can go a lot faster than what you think they would. Um, so that's what that is. That was under flight protection, sensor calibration. This is stuff you typically do not have to use unless it asks you to, uh, and then YouTube it. Um, <coughs> uh, I've done it. It's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so uh, the rest of these are pretty much tell you exactly where you're going to go. Now I hit at to add that field. I can hit zero if I want to do that. Don't have to do that. You can do this before you even take off if you want. But then I clear this stuff out of my screen just so I have a little yep. bit clearer. And then that button right there is that what we drop a point for. So I've got waypoint at it. And then as I go, I, that crosshair is staying locked on my my drone right now, but you can also keep the lock up there and just move through all the top right back onto it. I think it will usually go onto it unless you, if I don't have a lock, I come in on here and I put it off and I go back. Okay, it locks it back there. Sometimes it can be off where you'll drop a pin. Um, another thing is you might see there it says that it's a crosshair. If you click that, just at point with controller or aircraft. Well, why wouldn't you just use aircraft? Well, if you use aircraft, now I will drop a pin when I when I drop it. Mm -hmm. Just drop the pin. But if I do it now, I can't. It's telling me I can't because the drone has to be stopped in order to drop a pin if you have it set on that. Mm -hmm. So you, we just go with crosshair, mm -hmm. and crosshair, mm -hmm. yeah. follow the drone, and that way, as I'm flying along, like this, I can just you know, drop it in however often. Now, if it's a straight line, it's fine. Right. But if right. you're going around a turn, you want to be dropping the oh. So I get down to the corner here, I turn the drone sideways. I know I'm not quite there yet. This is where I sometimes turn the camera straight. Okay, down. so that is the center of the drone. Yes. yes. Now, when I move, <coughs> it, it puts it, its wings yep. sideways, so yeah. you do want to get it stopped. Sure. and. Uh, to, to look then mm -hmm. also forward or partway down and drop a pin before you take mm -hmm. off. That's right, yeah, you can really do this great. So it's going around that outer field yep. obstacle again. And it will keep that one turned on as it goes yep. around the obstacle. <laughs> Show you something here. Uh, actually, this started out, pull it down, it's going to take off. Just, just you can have it pull it. Just pull down on that left stick. Yeah. 
So that stick pushes it up, yep. down, turns it. Yep. Um, so if I'm too close, it's going to show a person on there. So I'm going to get closer. Actually, yeah, just come with you. <laughs> I want to you slap this out of my hand. Yeah. So um, go ahead and try to start it now. Just pull it down. Get my feel. So see what it's yep. That's too close. Now you can confirm, and if you hit confirm and do it again, it's going to So you can But yeah, you just hit confirm, and then if you have too many gallons in there, like more than the six pound pay from it, you are. Like I would say, if you want to see how close you are, touch you know by the camera and see, then you want to line yourself up like with the edge of those trees, fly the drone out past the edge, so you can actually in person see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I am yeah. about five feet away. Okay. This is what it looks like on my camera and judge that a little bit. You're gonna wanna do some of that to get good at knowing how close the trees you are. Typically, it looks like you're closer on there than you really are, because uh, it's a really wide a good camera. Thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, you should be ready to go now. Do I have now. to save that? No. no, you do not hit save until you're done filling a boundary. Okay. If you hit save now, it's gonna say oh, okay. at least at three gotcha. waypoints. Right. So yep. uh, you haven't said any yet, then you hit save. So, you ready? I'm ready. I don't know about you, but we'll find out. Well, you can off. let go as soon as they. Stand back at a um, safe distance. So it shut off again because that popped yeah. up, which is perfectly fine. That's normal. It, it'll Stand always do that. Take off. And so then, Stand back but yeah, distance. the main thing is just take it easy on the stick. Yeah. 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 Push it up one. One thing that I noticed right away is most snake guys, but they're not used to flying the drone, they would not be flying the guys there looking for a screen. It is hard to teach people to yeah. look at that screen. Um, well, it was hard when I first started flying to yeah. not look at it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. I don't know which, which way is it going. Yeah, you know right. I mean? You're yeah. like, you got to look at it. Yeah. And, and I'm like, okay, if you're brand new, do that for a while, yeah. but you're going to at some point want to yeah. start looking at your screen because. All right, this is a couple days later. I realized I never put a ending to this video. So, Carmen and I made a home from Ohio. We got the new way ag drone trailer all set up. I'll get into this more once we get spraying and sp spreading. And two DJI T50s all set up. So yeah, that's going to do it. We'll get into it a lot more here in the next couple weeks, but uh, hope you enjoy the video and thanks